Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am really excited to share with you guys actually a requested video of my denim collection. I hate to call it a collection because it's just all my denim, but there's a collection of them. There's a lot of them. There are too many of them. And we're doing this video not only to go through them myself, but to share with you guys what I actually have in my closet, all the denim. Um, I wear jeans almost every day. I love jeans. I love to wear them. And I have a lot of them. I believe I counted 23 pairs of denim. <laughs> But I personally, I just love jeans and I am not one for like fancy high-end jeans. I do like Madewell. Um, so you'll see some Madewell jeans in here. You'll see some Levi's in here, but mostly I love my Abercrombie. <laughs> Abercrombie jeans, they're just good to me. I love them and I have a lot of them. And today I'm gonna share with you guys every single pair of jeans in my closet. And also we're gonna kind of go through, I'm gonna kind of see what I can declutter because I feel like 23 is just like really excessive. And <laughs> I feel like I do have quite a few pairs that are a little bit similar. So I'm thinking I can go through and kind of get rid of some, purge some. So you guys are gonna help me with that today. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna share with you guys all of my denim. All right, I am down here low because I am going to start off with this video by saying um, I'm gonna try to share like sizing, like how it fits, if, it, if it's like true to size, um, and something, some concerns of mine with always with denim is the length because I am a petite size. Um, but I actually, I don't prefer petite denim. They usually just don't fit me right. Um, I guess through like this <laughs> the garage area, um, they never fit me right. Um, but length is always an issue with me because they're always too long. I'm 5'2". Um, for reference, I usually wear between, like usually a 26 is pretty safe for me. Sometimes I'll go to a 25, um, but I'll go through each jean and kind of tell you guys um, what the fit is as well and how like long it runs, short it runs, whatever. Um, so let's start off with the first pair right here that I'm actually wearing today. Um, a little story about these jeans. So these are called the Levi's Wedgie Icon Straight Leg. And I had these in my cart at Nordstrom for like a very long time. And at the beginning of the year, they went on major, major sale for like 30 bucks. So I grabbed them through in my cart and I went with a 26 in size. Um, when I got them, they were extremely long. Um, not extremely long, just like too long for me. And they looked really frumpy, like really frumpy uh, for a straight leg denim, especially because Levi's is a very true denim, that kind of stiffer, rigid denim. Um, so it just didn't work for me. So I ended up for these personally, I chopped them. Um, so if you're like, why are those cropped and why do those have a raw hem and they look like they were cut and <laughs> those have like a full length. So I just wanted to put that out there. I decided to cut these. Um, I did cut, I think one other pair, which I'll tell you guys when they come up. Um, but these are a straight leg. Um, I love them. They're awesome. They're super, super comfortable. Like I said, they're a true denim. So they really have like, there's no stretchiness to them. They're pretty rigid um, and a little stiff, but when you wear them and when you wear them often, they just like mold to you. And that's what I love about denim. Um, like a true denim like this, they just mold to you and they fit right. I love Levi's because of the butt. Um, I just feel like, they get this area really, really well. They do it very well. Um, so I love this pair. Like I said, I got a 26. Now, another thing with Levi's is um, a lot of their jeans, I'm like very in between sizes for them. Um, I'm kind of in between a 25 and 26. And the 25 is just a little too uncomfortably tight. 26 is like a little tad too loose. Like these, like I have some room in them. Um, so it's okay though, I, I would rather have them be a relaxed jean and be comfortable. 
So I go with a 26. I love these. So if you click on these and you're like, these go, these have like an actual hem at the bottom and they're a straight leg, um, I chopped these. So I did cut these quite a bit. I think I cut like three inches off. Um, if you click on the description box, you will see um, and like click on the link for these. You'll see the inseam and all the information about them um, if you're curious about the length. But for me, I cut three inches off uh, of these. So I love them though. They're like just a great, clean, classic denim. Love. All right, next up are the Abercrombie Mom Jeans. These are some of my favorite denim. I love them because they taper so nicely. As you can see, they're a very slim leg, which I love. I just love the like fit and how they wear, but they're also usually a very like rigid denim again. So they really just mold to you and I love them. They come in so many different washes. I have currently four different washes of the Abercrombie Mom Jean. Um, and I also go in between sizes with these. So sometimes I get a 25 short, sometimes I get a 25, uh, six short. So I will go in between sizes. I I find that I always, whenever they come out with a new one that I want to grab, I grab a 25 short and a 26 short and I figure out which one I would like to keep. Um, for these right here, I am a 26 short. Um, I just love them. They're so comfortable. I. I just love them. They're like the best. Um, they are, they come in just a variety of different washes, which I also love. Um, these are actually an older wash, um, but they have a very, very, very similar one right now, um, which I will link down below. And the reason I love Abercrombie so much is because they offer a short and not a petite <laughs> because I need my denim normal through here and I need just a shorter length. So that's why I love Abercrombie. <laughs> right here is another wash of the Abercrombie Mom Jean. A little less distressing, just a little bit. Just love the details of them. For these, I went with a 25 short. That's just what fit me. I feel like these fit the exact same as my other 26 short. So I don't know. I feel like you really just need to try them. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't give advice there because I feel like Sometimes I go with the 25 short, sometimes I go with the 26 short. Um, so like I, like I said, I just grab both and I figure out which one um, fits and I return the other one. So I love these, super, super cute. I also have a light wash that I'll show next. All right, here is the light distressed wash. I love these two. I do feel like I could have maybe gone with the 26 short. I didn't order them in that one. I just got the 25 um, when I ordered actually that last pair. I ordered them at the same time. Um, so, and I ordered the other one in a 25 short and 26 short. The 25 was perfect. These were like a tight, like a slight bit tighter. I don't know, but I love them anyways. They're super, super cute. Um, I usually, I will say also that I always wear my distressed denim in the spring, summer, and fall. I do not wear any really distressed denim in the winter because it's freezing and I don't want my bare knees out there. That's too cold. I can't do that. So I usually keep my, any kind of distressing, which I'm slightly kind of phasing out anyways. Um, I just feel like too much distressing, although I have quite a few. Um, I'm just a little bit over. I like a clean classic denim, um, but these are super cute otherwise, and they'll be great for the spring and the summer. All right, and the last mom jean I have is a white distressed pair um, that I actually recently got. I still have the tags on. I haven't worn them yet, um, but I love them. I think they're super cute, great for spring and summer here. For these specific ones, I got a 26 short, so like I said. Kind of in between. Guys, this video is going to be quite a long one because um, I'm very chatty about my denim. But in my denim collection, I have two pairs of mid rise denim. Um, I'm not going to lie, also really random in my thoughts. <laughs> I feel like this is going to help me really kind of declutter some of my denim um, because I do feel like there are just too many um, and I don't feel like I need this many and it'll really help me pick out what I'm actually wearing and what I'm not. Um, but anyways, I have two pairs of mid-rise denim in my collection left. Everything else is a high-rise. 
and I just really love, I have really loved a high rise. I just can't go back to that really low rise, but I also know that I cannot do an extreme, extreme high rise because of like proportionally, it just looks so weird. <laughs> so these are a boyfriend jean from Abercrombie. They're a mid-rise boyfriend jean. Um, these are some of the, I think this is one of my favorite pairs of jeans. Um, they're just like super comfortable. They're also that rigid denim. Um, I actually just ordered a pair of a recent pair of boyfriend jeans from Abercrombie and they were slightly different. They had a little bit of stretch to them, so they must have like elastin in them. Um, but these are like hundred percent cotton. So they've just really molded to me and I love them. Um, and I'm okay with the fact that they are just a mid-rise because they're super kind of just slouchy and I love the distressing on them. So these are an older pair. I will link the updated pair, but they are this one and the updated pair are quite different. So, oh, and I got a, I always size down in their boyfriend jeans. I get a 25 short. All right, next up I have the high rise ankle flare from Abercrombie. I got these last season. Um, they did come back out with them this year. I love these because they're probably one of my favorite spring summer jeans because they're kind of like a skinny jean, but they have that really cute um, detail going down um, at the ankle. They kind of flare out, but not too wide. Um, and they have really cute detailing on the bottom. So I really love these. Um, I wear a 25 regular because they are an ankle jean. They fit me kind of just normally. Um, so I did not go with the short with this one, but they are a high rise and the other difference. Um, these have like some elastin in them. So they have like a little bit of stretch. They're very, very soft, very, very comfortable. I love the bum on them. I love the bum on all Abercrombie jeans because they place their pockets really big and they just kind of like give a little lift to your booty. So I love um, the booty on um, all Abercrombie jeans, but these are super, super cute. Like I said, I love them. I'll link this year's pair that they came out with it, which is extremely similar to these. So I love these, these are great. Next pair of denim I have is from Madewell. This is actually a straight leg jean and I got I believe, I'm not sure if they were cropped or not, but they actually fit me at a good length. Um, I always size down to a 25 in Madewell. I feel like their denim tends to have a little more room in them, um, so I always just size down. So I love these. I think these are still available. I'll have to check. If they aren't available, I know they have a very, very similar pair to these, but these do have a little bit of stretch, a little bit of softness, but not too much. Um, I really feel like they're a very thinner jean, um, but I actually really love this wash for the fall and even sometimes the winter. I will wear these in the winter a lot with some chunky sweaters and things. Um, and I do have, you can kind of see, I have the hem right here, which is kind of a little distressed, uh, slightly rolled at the bottom, um, just because it's like, I just need it like hair shorter for my height. Um, but I love them. I love Madewell jeans. I think they're really, really nicely made. I love the bum. And this is their straight leg. Right, another Madewell pair. This pair is specifically, it's a very old jean. I think I got these like two or three years ago. Um, so these aren't around, around anymore. They are called the High Rise Slim Boy Jean. Now they might still have a slim boy jean, um, but I know they don't have like this just dressing in combination anymore. Um, and I remember when I bought these jeans, all the reviews were like, size down two sizes. So I did, um, and they fit great, which I've never in my life been a 24, but these are a 24. Um, I like them because they're kind of that tapered. They're kind of a straight leg, but they are very slim. Um, at the time, I really loved the distressing, but I'm kind of, like I said, I have a lot of distressed jeans and I'm a little bit over it, um, but these are great. Um, I, I feel like I wear these a lot in the fall, but I love the wash of them too. I love the rise of them. They are quite high. I think these are higher than my mom jeans from Abercrombie, the rises, but I do find them really flattering, really comfortable, soft, and yeah, good pair of jeans. Next up is a jean. I feel like this jean like went crazy over like 
two years ago or maybe a year ago everyone like just wore the heck out of these <laughs> and these are the levi's 721 high rise skinny jean and they have the busted knees so i really like these and i when i originally bought them they were so long they were just so long and recently i pulled them back out and i almost sold them and i was like i don't really need this jean and i'm kind of over the busted knee thing um but I decided to chop them instead and I wore them. I wore them some, but I'm still not wearing them as much as I thought. I do, I've got my true to size of 26 in them. So these might be the ones that are going out. I'm not sure. They're very, very similar to my Madewell ones, but it's really hard for me because I've broken them in and they're really comfortable. So yeah, I do love these. Very comfortable, but we'll see. We'll see what I keep. All right, next up is a Madewell denim. This is the high rise skinny crop jean with the button fly. Um, so these are actually cropped. So I got them at this length and they're actually like the perfect length for me. So anything, I feel like anything that always says cropped, I'm always like, oh, that's like a normal length jean for me. So I always buy them. Um, these are so comfortable. I've actually had these for quite a few years now. I think I've had, this is my third year with them and I actually really like wearing these um, a lot in the fall and winter time mostly. Um, so I don't get as much wear out of them through the spring and summer here. Um, they are a little bit of a darker wash. I do love the button fly on them. I'll pull them out every once in a while maybe for spring and summer but I mostly wear them in the winter and the fall time, um, but they fit great. I love the length, again, it was a cropped. <laughs> I, I know it's silly, I wear a cropped jean in the winter time, but they just fit a lot better. So love, love, love them, and I get my true to size 25 in them. All right, next up is a pair of jeans that I got probably three years ago, and I believe they do have similar. Um, these are actually a pair of J. Crew jeans that I got because I wanted to see if they were very similar to Madewell because actually J. Crew jeans are slightly cheaper than Madewell, but they're this, obviously they're the same company, but they have very similar denim. <laughs> so I actually got these and I love them. They're the nine inch high rise toothpick, but as you can see, I have them very, very cuffed. They are very long and I always wear them cuffed and I feel like I always wear them in the fall and winter time again because they're a little bit longer so I'll stuff them into like snow boots and things like that so I kind of just wear them in the winter time I don't wear them a ton in the summer because they're a little bit longer on me um, I will crop them like this and wear them with sandals but not too often I do love the wash of them and with J. Crew jeans I also get a 25 like the Madewell so they fit true to size for Madewell J. Crew, I guess and yeah that is another pair of skinny. All right, next up I have another Abercrombie jean. And you guys, <laughs> I have five washes. I have five washes of this denim. I wore them all fall and winter long. I actually wore these even more so than my J. Crew ones that I just shared and even the Madewell ones. I feel like I wore these to death. Um, and I think I have them in every wash they have available, I'm pretty sure. So I have a light wash, a medium wash, a dark wash, a gray wash, and a black wash. I love them. <laughs> um, they're just a great basic pair of skinny jeans. They're nothing special. They have no distressing, which I love. They are skinny jean. I feel like I'm kind of going more towards a straight leg jean lately, but um, I like them in the winter, like I said. I can just stuff them into snow boots and big heavy boots um, when it's gross outside and they just kind of slide right in and I, <laughs> they're great. Um, I always get a 26 short in every single pair that I have. They fit so nice. They do are not a rigid jean. They are a stretchy jean. They're a really, really like soft, comfortable jean. I do feel like they still mold to me. And I've washed and dried them multiple times and they don't stretch out. They don't wear out. They just fit great. Um, so I'm going to try and very, very quickly the other four washes. This is the light wash. And I'll share with you guys the other washes as well. All right, this is the medium wash that they have a good it's almost like a very dark wash i feel like um i do have to kind of cuff them at the bottom if i want to wear them with sandals or anything but i actually just leave them all the way down if i'm wearing uh, boots over top of them so 
that is the medium wash. All right, this is the uh, dark wash. Very, very, very dark, <laughs> obviously. They're almost a black, um, but I like them in, like I said, the winter time. They're great. Um, they're super just stretchy and comfy. That is the dark wash. All right, here is the gray wash. I like, I actually have worn these a couple times here this spring. Um, I really like the wash of them for spring with like some white tops and just like floral and things like that. I find that I've worn the gray wash quite a few times. So that is the gray wash. All right, and then these are the black washed. So they actually do have a solid black pair. I don't own that pair because I own another pair of black um, skinny jeans from Abercrombie that I'll share next. Um, so I actually just own the washed pair and this one actually has a raw hem at the bottom. It does not have like a stitched up hem. So I love these though. I think they're really flattering and I mostly wear them in the fall and the winter time. All right, next up is a pair of black denim from Abercrombie. These are the high rise skinny ankle jeans. They have a button fly. They also have a little bit of a frayed hem at the bottom. I got a 26 short in these. These are a recent pair, so they are still available on their site. That I have worn the heck out of these. <laughs> I love them. I absolutely love them. I think they're going to be great for winter as well, um, but I have worn them in spring here a ton. I love the wash on them. I think they're really just comfortable. They are stretchy um, and like movable. So just a really great pair of black denim. All right, I also have the high rise skinny ankle in a white um, from Abercrombie. Um, these are from last year or the year before maybe, but they still have like a very, very similar pair, no distressing or anything, just white, simple pair of skinnies. Um, they ha are like the same fit in size as the other one, except for some reason, I got the regular in these and not the short and they still kind of fit me at the ankle. Now these have like a little bit of a frayed like circle hem at the bottom. Um, I believe this year's version is just like a normal, I think it's just maybe it might be frayed or something, but it's just straight across. Um, so <laughs> I would probably, if I reordered a new pair, I would get a short, I wouldn't get the regular, but I love these. Just a great pair of basic white skinny jeans. All right, this is my last pair of Abercrombie jeans, and I have two more pairs of jeans, and we're done. Um, this is the other mid-rise denim that I have. These are actually quite a bit older. Um, I believe they still have them, though. Um, it's a mid-rise skinny ankle, and I loved these, and it's really hard for me to get rid of because I really love the, like detailing at the bottom. I just think they're really fun for summer, um, but it's so weird wearing a mid-rise like skinny jean. So I'm not sure. I keep going back and forth whether I'm going to keep these or not. I feel like I have a ton of skinny jeans and I've only recently been wearing like my black pair skinnies and all my straight leg jeans. So I'm not sure what to do with all these skinny jeans. Um, but I really do love these. I got a 26 short again, um, even though they're an ankle length. I just, I don't know. It's hard to part ways when they're so comfy too. <laughs> All right, next up is a pair that I have had for four years now and I love them. And actually, I think I wore them in a previous video lately and you guys were all asking about them. They are the Madewell Perfect Vintage Jean in the Fitzgerald wash, I believe it's called. I'm not exactly sure, but I always get a regular length and I never go petite with Madewell because it just doesn't fit right, like I said, so I always go regular. Unfortunately, these are a little bit long on me, but I don't even care because I love them. These are actually my first pair of like straight leg or mom jeans, I guess. And I love, love, love them and I love the wash. So I just kind of rolled them at the bottom. I always get a 25 in them. They have no stretch to them whatsoever, but they are very soft. They're not so like stiff and thick like a Levi. Um, they're actually a little bit of like a thinner, really soft kind of denim. So I love them in the spring and the summertime because they're such a light wash as well. They are very, very high rise, but they're like one of my favorite pairs of jeans. And I feel like the more you've had them now, this will be my like fourth summer with them. Um, just the more they just mold to you, they wash great. I love them. They're probably one of my favorite denim out of my whole collection. 
right, next up, and I lied, I have one more after this. I forgot. I purchased a new pair that I have to share, um, and that'll be my last set. Um, so these are my only Everlane jeans, and I'm really wanting to find more Everlane jeans. I only have one pair, um, and these are their like ever so famous um, cheeky straight leg jean and this is the lightest wash I love them they come in an ankle length um, which is great I have the ankle length and they're pretty much perfect I love where they hit on me and the fact that there's no distressing is awesome they're so comfortable so I would say these are definitely a rigid denim they are not stretchy whatsoever they're more of an actual denim they're not quite as thin as like my Madewell ones that I just shared. They're not quite as thick as a Levi. So they're kind of somewhere in the middle, which I think is really nice. And I just love the fit of them. I love them. So I actually sized down to a 25 in these. I didn't go with the 26. Um, and I love how they fit. They do, however, <laughs> they do, however, tend to bag out a little bit if I wear them because I don't wash my jeans every time I wear them. Like I wear them a couple times and then I'll wash them. Um, and I believe that's how denim should be. But I do find that these bag out. So I have to wash them, I feel like a little bit more than maybe some of my other jeans because they do tend to bag, especially around here. Um, and even in the knees a little bit, they bag a little bit. But I don't care because I love them so much. I want to get them in more washes, but they keep selling out. I feel like every time I try to go buy them, they're like sold out. So they must be popular. I really want to try other Everlane jeans as well. So if you have any that you love, let me know. All right, so the last pair is my most recent pair of jeans. I literally just got them in the mail like two days ago. Um, they still have the tag on them, but I know I'm keeping them. I love them. I had to share them. They are the Levi's 501 cropped. So they are a more of a straight leg, um, a tapered straight leg, and they are cropped, which is perfect. The inseam on these are actually a 26 and that's like my perfect inseam. Anything I see in a 26 inseam, I'm like, yes, that's perfect. Um, so I love these. They are a thick, rigid, stiffer denim. Um, but from my other ones that I absolutely love, I know I'm going to love these as well. Um, the fit is a little different throughout here um, compared to the wedgie fit, but I love them. Um, I got a 26 and again, I feel like I'm really in between Levi's. The 25, I feel like would have been a little too tight. The 26 has a little bit of room, especially throughout the back here, um, but I don't care, <laughs> I love them. I absolutely love them, they're worth it. And I think they're gonna be really, really comfortable once I wear them in. All right guys, so uh, that's all my denim. I hope you guys enjoyed this long, long video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're not, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.